Hello, this is Bridget Ra with Divine Essentials. All right, guys, so I ran a little special where it's like 11-hour um, turnaround, 11 cards. And um, the first one I'm doing for somebody is, these are anonymous. So basically, I do the recording, put it out there, I send them the link, and um, other people will be able to hear. So if you're wondering, like, where is it all headed in your life? That's what the question is. Uh, this person's like, you know, like the real life stuff, like what's going on? Where's it all headed? There's a lot going on for them. Um, and, and it's all right. So the element of air, intellectual, curious, alert, mental, clever, idealistic, inventive, objective, and cold. And then the Celtic knot is unconditional love, legendary, divine union, eternal love, infinity, the love of a lifetime. So I, I do know this person too. So, um, I know something has happened recently um where the the mental logic like clarity and stuff like that they probably don't feel like they've been having all of that too much because there was a incident where um that was impacted physically and i feel like i feel like it was like um meant to be like a <laughs> like a, you know you know how spirit is but they're like mm. um and when I walked over to get the decks, I saw, where can I ask for more help in my life? So you may be asking spirit for help and you may be talking to spirit and I get it because asking people for help is like, never mind. Um, they either hold it over your head or they say one thing and then change their mind or, you know, there's just people who like to, um, manipulate and, um, do things that are like, well, okay, you said otherwise, but here we are, and you're now saying this, and whatever it is. So it's like, it's hard for us to ask for help, but I think Spirit wants you to know that, like, you can't do it all yourself, and you you can, there are good people out here. There are good people out here. There are good people out here who would genuinely help you and not manipulate you or not hold it over your head or not say one thing one day and then just act like they never said that the next day and you know what I mean there's people out there who are good unconditionally loving people and I feel like that's where it's all headed okay but in order for that to happen you've got to ask for help until we can receive with an open heart we're never really giving with an open heart when we attach judgment to receiving help we knowingly or unknowingly attach judgment to giving help so when we're like what about receiving help and believe me I motherfucking get it um, it, it can, it can then impact us. And I was talking about this last night because the shadow workbook came and it's like, until the shadows are illuminated, you know, they mess with us. And there's a lot of fucking people out here walking around in the shadow and they don't see. So I feel like you've done the shadow work. You've done the deep dive. You, you're aware, but that's why you're like, I don't want to ask anybody for help because I get you feel their shit. You know what they're thinking. You know that they may say yes in the moment, but then they're going to bitch about it to someone else or they're going to change their mind in five minutes. So you're like, I'm not even going to like take you up on what you're offering or listen to what you're putting out there because I can feel where it's headed. And that's that logical part of us. And I think it's, it's, you know, one of those things is very hard, but we have to remember that there are good people out here that won't do those things. And even if the people out here do do those things, it's like, it's for a reason. It's to show us something. Maybe we're giving with expectations attached, or maybe we're giving with way too much. And it's like, you're going to keep getting hit over the head until you, you know, start, start fixing whatever it is like where can I create more space instead of filling yourself up with busy work and things to do create more sacred space in your schedule in your home in your mind in your lungs and in your heart take time to just be do a clutter detox of your schedule home and innermost self make space clarity will come all right I'm laughing because I was literally cleaning up before I decided to do this and then I was like let me go do this because I'm constantly doing something and I think that's a trauma response too, where it's like, oh, I'm just going to keep moving because if I sit down and I fucking think, I'm going to sink into the dark. I'm going to sink into the despair. I'm going to sink into the, oh my God, no. And it is hard, especially because there's people out here that are like, boop, 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 boop. And then there's events that happen in our lives that are like, ooh, 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 ooh. And it's like, I thought I was doing good. What the fuck? You know? But we are doing good. It's, object it's an objective thing, okay? It's like, however you want to look at it, is how it's going to be. 
and you you will get tested by the people who poke and you will get tested by the events that that clap and you will have soul like stuff happening and physical stuff happening and all the shit happening but it is it all leading to this when we do this so if like we want unconditional love but we're not unconditionally loving to ourselves where it's like and you may love yourself i feel like you do love yourself you take care of yourself but you you do it in a way uh in that way because you've been hurt or because things have gone wrong there's there's these walls up of protection and i get it and it's hard to surrender those especially because that like it's like we feel vulnerable like oh my god somebody's gonna come in and do what they've done before or somebody's gonna do something i've never experienced before and i don't want i don't even want to know because there's a lot of shit that happens but if we're living in that or thinking that or feeling that or like expecting those things then we create those things so instead of expecting those things or whatever, like try to start expecting that the right people are going to show up to help me at the right time. And then if people do show up that you know that are going to do those things, remove them from your life. Like just remove them. You don't need to give them explanations. You don't need to. And if it's like somebody that's like in a position that it's like, I can't really remove them. Um, I have to deal with them. Then just limit that amount of time. But don't let it limit the love and the appreciation and the good shit from other people around us you know what i mean like there's good people in this world there's good people out there who will help us to heal there's good people that want us to shine and there's good people when we release the fears when we're not juggling our own values and our worth when we're not feeling left out in the cold so let yourself receive let yourself receive love. Let yourself receive healing. Let, like be on just on a spiritual level. You know, let the walls down. Ask for help. Ask the people that you feel safe to ask. You know, and sometimes people that you feel safe to ask, maybe they'll have stuff going on. Or maybe they'll be a mess too. Because usually the people that we feel safe with are, are, are mirrors. So they're probably going through some similar shit. But that doesn't have to stay that way. Like, we can all face our fears. We can all stop juggling our value and our worth. We can all stop feeling left out in the cold. We just open our hearts and our doors and our walls and we're like, okay. And we express ourselves authentically. And we allow ourselves to be delicate. We allow ourselves to be fragile. Um, to handle with careful, you know, applications. A pattern, detail, a code. So it's like... There's codes that are opening up for you right now. There's there's things that are, there's a key here within all of this. And I feel like, obviously, with the circumstances around and all the things that have been happening and how you probably are feeling about all of it, it's like, uh, you may just not know. And it's like, what the fuck? Sometimes we just don't know. And that's okay. Sometimes that's what we need is to not know. So that's like, we can surrender. And we can give control over to the universe because we can't control the universe we can create within the universe but we can't control the fullness of it it's just too big it's just too much so don't try let the universe help you let the world help you let the people help you that you know love you unconditionally and if you feel like there isn't anybody out there in that that box right now of like somebody loving you unconditionally it's probably not true, first of all. There's probably many, many people that do. And you may be like, well, my kids or my, my family. But there's other people who do. And there's other people who will. And there's other people who will help to protect you from the ones who don't. Or the ones who lied. Or the ones who, you know, shrouded behind something and, and got through because that happens here. And I feel like we go through levels of things too. It's like we need to go through things. We signed up on, I found, I heard this thing recently. It's like, no matter where you go, no matter where you go in this whole big world, you go to Florida or you go to California, you go to another country, you will still meet the people that carry the spirit of whatever the fuck it is that you have signed up to deal with in this life. The spirit of whatever it could be people who are envious it could be people who are greedy it could be people who are manipulative it could be people who are controlling but wherever you go and you keep finding these people or these circumstances where it's like what the fuck like 
Why does this keep happening? Why is it everybody I let in? Or why is it every time I think it's this? Or why? It's because it's something to test you to make you stronger. And I definitely feel like I've gotten like a PhD in like the levels and the, the seven, the seven different types of um, people, you know, like we're going through the seven levels of hell and the seven levels of ascension. And it's like all the seven, right? We're going through the seven layers of our aura. We're going through our seven chakras. We're going through the levels of living. We're going through the levels of ascension and it's going to be testing, but a catalyst is igniting to get things done. Fuel, kindle, torch, effort, spark, fan the flames. You have everything inside of you right now that you need, but you just need to allow others to show up and be in the emperor energy for you, to help you, okay? Independent, aggressive, active, energetic leaders, um, you know, the emperor energy. And this says within seven days. So trust the white wolf, trust the divine, trust the spirits are in your favor, okay? Have confidence and, and trust trust your guidance too, because even though sometimes we get a little boop, 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 the spirit will still talk to us communicate to us clearly we don't need to be clear in our head to see clearly through our third eye like even at the at, at the height of my lime shit and all of that like ugh, dying my feet falling off my body and all that shit it was really bad i was in physical fucking agony all day crying screaming literally screaming and crying just shaking um and i didn't ask for anybody to help my dad and i was like i should have gone up there and helped but there, that was something I needed to go through. That was something I was doing, he was doing, we were all doing, we were all within it together. And I could look back at that time and be like, what a jerk, he didn't help me. But it's like, I wasn't allowing it. I wasn't asking for it. I, I, was, I was evil to him because I was mad at him and I was mad at everybody and I was mad at myself. So I was in chaos. I was in agony literally agony just bawling my eyes out wishing i would die wishing it would just end but even in all of that every time i sat down to do something for somebody else like a reading or every time like you know i was doing something i kept getting the the knowings i knew i always knew and i always got the sim the messages even when i was under attack and under all this shit and under all that stuff spirit was still there to, to communicate spirit was never wrong I, st I have people who are like i followed you for all these years and you've never been wrong so it's like all right i wasn't as active i wasn't as consistent i wasn't out there every fucking day doing it because i was dying most of the time but the times that i was doing it spirit was still there communicating delivering and in helping to rise and helping to see that the right things that we needed to see to help us to stand in our power. But sometimes we need to give control over to the universe and let other people help us and trust that we are illuminated and trust that we can overcome any obstacle. We can see through the darkness. We can lift the veil. We can see through the facade of any person and we don't have to let it in on a level that it's like, <clears throat> we don't have to let any of that shit keep us in this sense of feeling like we're missing out on something or we just don't have that final piece or where the fuck is my other thing like where is it it's always been here it will always be there it's never been gone that that light is in you that that illumination is there spirit is there god is there the creator is there the great spirit is there you are there it is you so don't juggle your value and worth and don't let fear stagnate you don't let fear stop you don't let fear keep you from the things that you want don't let you know believe in your power believe that you can have the fireworks and the in the awesome sauce and the greatness and this doesn't have to be about love this doesn't have to be about sex and chemistry like this is just the, the celebration this is the hot powerful wow that you can have in your life but you've got to let your floodgates open. You've got to let the emotions come out. You've got to, like, you know, clean up what doesn't says doesn't serve. Where is their chaos? I know us spiritual people. We got crystals everywhere. We got fucking piles of our shit everywhere. We're little ADHD brains. We're like, boop, 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 boop. It's like, but this is my nice mess. Like, it's not a nice mess, man. If it's causing stuff. So if there's anything around you or, like, lingering stuff, 
and I get it. Believe me, I fucking get it. Like you've, if you've done a business and now you're doing a different business and now you're doing this part of the, hello, <laughs> my whole house is a fucking like, we get stations. We get the crystal station. We got the epoxy station, but it is nice. It is nice and it is clean and it is organized. My closet is nice and organized. Um, and that makes it much better for me to be able to do what I need to do and get things done. But up here in my room right now, there's too much in here. So like I'm downstairs yesterday and there's all these empty drawers and like, like I just need to do the final pieces of the puzzle of like, all right, Bridget, get the shit out of your bedroom and put it down in other places in the house. I was like hoarding shit because my dad breaks a lot of stuff just randomly all the time. And it freaks me out. Like he's broken so many of the like sentimental mom things. And it's like, what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> and I just want to kill him. But I can't, I can't save everything up in here with me. I can't keep everything up in here with me because then I can't go out there and live and then nobody can reach me and it's, it's just chaos and nothing new can come in because there's all this old chaos around me and all this old energy around me so if you've got old decks old crystals old stuff like whatever start purging it start clearing it out start selling it start just letting it go like when people order stuff now i'm just sending them crystals with their stuff because i don't have the time to post all the crystals for sale and it's like I bit off more than I could chew by taking on all the things that I took on. So now I've got the engraver and the cricket and the thing that I've never touched. And it's like I should just sell that shit because I'm not, probably never going to touch it. Unless I get a team of people up in here who are helping me with it. Probably never going to touch it. So I need to clear the clutter out and, and focus on what I really want. Because I think in the past I was focusing more so on what's the next shiny thing. What's the next thing I can do instead of centering and doing what I want to do you know so we got the end of the season wise perfect touch editor sees both sides chameleon adaptable I know you have this ability sorry Sadie lady is an older wiener that likes to do that you have you have the ability to be, see both sides and adapt and do all those things now I've got the emperor and the sun so I feel like you had to be in masculine energy in your life because you're a provider for your children, because you're a provider for yourself, because you've just always been that for everybody around you. You just carry that essence, and it's not a bad thing. It's not like, oh, you're just such a tough guy. Like, oh, you're blah, blah, blah. But in this motherfucking world, people will make you feel like that's a problem. People will push you and, and, and want to see you fall or crumble or be a girly girl. And... And I think you stood up to this world because you had to in, 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 in defense of others. But in this season with the chariot here, it's about going back to what makes you happy and flowing with it. Clearing out the clutter, clearing out the chaos, clearing out the people, clearing out the bullshit. Not getting lost up here in the doubts or the, the logical mind, the masculine mind. And instead flowing in the feminine and receiving the messages and knowing that even even in the darkest hour even when you can't see clearly logically spirit is always there communicating to you feeling in your feeling body you can feel it you know it and you know all these things i feel like it's there inside of you and if, if the table here was reversed, you'd be telling me all these things because that's how this works. The people who are going to help us to illuminate and to spark, they show up on our path because they are on our path because their frequency matches. So it's like the bridge. Hey, I'm the bridge. I'm Bridget the bridge. This is about communicating, uniting, connecting, integrating, overcoming barriers, sharing it with harmony and compromise. It's like, just compromise, man. You don't need to be responsible for everybody and everything around you it's the mother in you it's the 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 protector in you it's all the beautiful things in you that make you do that but it's okay to have what you want to it's okay to release it's okay to let other people help you to rise out of the ashes it's okay to ask for people to help you out of the ashes and i know all of us in this community near and far We've been through the dark. We've been through the death. We've been through the fucking bullshit. And we're now rising. And we can rise together. Because if we do what we did last time, where we tried to rise individually on our own, we're going to fall again. 
You know, those mountains and obstacles are there. You don't go climb Mount Everest solo. If you do, good for you if you get up there and make it back and everything. But it would probably be a little bit better to have somebody with you where you're like, I don't know where I'm going. Yeah, me either. Oh, that's good. Let's go together. You know, we don't need to know exactly where we're going. We don't need to know exactly who's going to be there at the end of the day. But we can we can let down our walls and we can ask for help. And we become magnetic when we're in that right receiving energy and trusting people to show up. Networking, marketing, social media, publicity, internet, fame, expand, exposure, spotlight. It's time for you to come into the light. It's time for you to expand and communicate with the right people. That doesn't necessarily mean you have to go like be crazy online, but do it to your to to where you're comfortable with um so that you can expand and collaborate and work with people there's people out here that love you everywhere and i know that a lot of us i i feel like like i, I talked to someone in our physical community around here recently and it, it's like the the person said what i had said it's like the fucking place imploded like all of us it's a spiritual war we're turned against each other or not even against each other, but just like from each other with COVID and all of that shit that made some fucking messes. And now people are living in the dark. People are living in the, in the shadow and people are afraid and people are used to being alone or they're afraid to be near others because they don't want to get sick or pop up a boop. There's the extremes with it too. Cause there's the people who are still afraid and like in the dark of like, Oh, uh, you know, they don't want to come out because of it. And there's people who understand and know, like, that was what that was. But they're, like, they got used to being alone, too. So it's like, I'm just better off by myself. It's conditioned into the people. And then, like, all these things that are five minutes long, two minutes long, 30 seconds. It's to distract us. It's to distract us. It's to distract us. We need to illuminate all this and come together and, and light and spark the energy and have peace with harmony and helpful people. You can be the CEO. You can be the boss. You can be the one getting it all done. You're, you're, you know, you can be cool, calm, collected and all of that. But there's still going to be unpredictable, wild, fierce, stealth, self, you know, assholes out there in our way every day. No matter where we go. You know, no matter where we go. There's elusive, creepy motherfuckers. But we don't have to let that keep us from sparking and connecting with the ones that are going places, the ones that are going to help us, the ones that do care about us, the ones that are established with ambition and experience and development, maturity and sexuality, the ones that are ready to go on a process. You have the secrets and the wisdom inside of you. There's perfect person out there for you too. Um, soulmate, twin flame, the one, a pair of things, blooming love. I feel like you're headed towards a rebirth in all areas. This is where it's all headed. You went through the fucking tower, lost a lot of things and felt a lot of ways. Things have been working against you, but you're going to rebirth into a home where you're meant to be, where you're, where you're feeling good, where you're going places, where you're lifting out of that fucking negativity. You're not living in fear. You're not looking from the outside anymore. The man who you can feel safe to protect you and safe to love you shows up. Um, how can I be more kind to myself and offer more grace in this very moment? Growing our self-love is medicine to this world's broken heart. When you heal, we all heal. When you give yourself more grace, you are able to give the world more grace. Look at yourself with a grace filter. You are meant to be in this moment of your life. Release the inner critic and fill in that hole with your soul's truth. That you are infinite, you are loved, and you are already there. Okay? So, give yourself grace. Know that someone is coming if they're not already there. Um, because this is like breaking free, tame, wild, strong emotions. Is that, like, there's an, unmot like a, um, an unbridled, driven energy that wants to show up and, and help and protect and propose and, and do all that. Um, this is like a wish come true too. So, I feel like... This is going to be a flood of emotion for you. This is going to be like receiving, you know, the past, present, and future. Everything coming together. The, the, the metamorphosis. Metamorphosis. Whatever hasn't been, you know, grounded and, and good is now going to be. Yeah. The deep commitment. The love. The uncommon bond. Just clean up 
out there in the house and around you and in your spaces and clean up any loose ends and then just know like these things that have come that have come about from the chaos or from like the the stuff that have happened in your life it was unavoidable it needed to happen okay because it just it, it just you needed to create more space so you could get on the right track so you could clear out the clutter clear out the karma clear out the devil clear out the bullshit that was gonna put you in a coffin if it didn't do that so you needed to hang around and get stuck and see things from a new perspective but now you're mature now you're good now you're going places, and I feel like you're going to exactly where you want to be. So just open up. Don't be like this. Don't be all like, I got to clap. Uh, oh, uh, uh. Let it go. Just let it go. Just trust that whatever you let go will come back to you. Whatever you give away will flow to you. When you give with that, that knowing that you're going to get everything you're giving and more, you will get it. But you don't attach anything to like receiving either of like oh like i'm not it's like i don't want to ask for help you are worthy of help you're worthy of love you're worthy of compassion you're worthy of devotion you're worthy of everything you give to others and until you allow you to have that you're going to keep seeing things mess up like i gave so much to them i gave so much to them and they still fucking did me dirty or they still did this or they still right because you're not allowing others to give to you there's something in there that's like no, it's not okay to receive. So if we do that, we can't be we can't be shocked when people fuck us over because it's like not only are we blocking it and expecting it, then we're getting upset when they, they follow through and do what they did and, and didn't do the thing that we said in a boop. We all do it. We all do it. There's nothing wrong with us for doing the things that we do. But when we become aware of it, then we can be like, oh, let me fix that. Because I do deserve love, and I do deserve to receive, and I do deserve clarity, and I do deserve happiness, and I don't have to save or hold on to anything. Because, like, the things that we hold on to, the clutter and the stuff like that, it's like, it, we, it makes us feel safer, or, or it just becomes a representation of what's going on inside of us. And it's like literally these past two days, I'm like, I should just pull down these boxes and start putting them out there for like 10 bucks because they're just here. They're, they're just there. I never use them. I use the same motherfucking decks all the time. I've made 27 of my own decks. So I'm usually using those too because that's how you promote your decks. And I'm just not one of those girls that can do the whole like, oh, here's the crystals. And here I want to be, but I can't be. Okay. Like I've tried. Like I've tried to do the whole theme theme. And it's like, I just don't do it. There's just, I've got all the shaman decks. I've got all the crystal decks. I've got all the this decks and all the that decks. And it's like, they just sit there. So I got to get them go. Let them go. Let them go. But then there's also the thing of they were gifts. But they were gifts. I do that too. If you do that stuff to yourself, you've got to create more space, okay? And you've got to create space for the help that you want. And you, you know, let yourself give things away that you don't need anymore. Go to that higher perspective. You know, you're seeing through the facades of things. You are on the right track. Even if you don't feel like it, it's all headed to the right place. You're lifting out of the negativity. You're going to be collaborating with the right people in the right places. And your persistence is paying off for this new beginning. But wherever the baggage has been, wherever the bullshit has been, trust your intuition to go on the quest to a new dependable outcome that works with you for you together in harmony and you can be happy and overflow in all of that un motherfucking condition love i'm just splitting the deck baby hold on to your strength the lion's gate is going to be powerful for you get get some clearing up if you if you can't physically clear up things right now just focus on clearing it up up here and i guarantee you you will have the motivation and the energy and all the things necessary to clear the clutter in your life, wherever it is. I'm not saying you're a dirty person. I'm not a dirty person either. But I got a lot of shit that I don't need. And I feel like you probably got a lot of shit that you don't need. <laughs> I know you got a lot of shit that you don't need. We all do. We all do. Okay? And where are you being called to use your voice right now? Use it and name all the things you love. Name all the things. Make a list of all the things you love. What are the first things that come to mind? Are you one of them? Let you be the first thing. In Renee, Namaste.